Uh, we got ourselves Hayshir over for that team too. Rain to go, but not first up. Instead, it's going to be Sensei with Bad Buddy. A bit of a rematch between these two. Hold on a second. But they this time, they're going to go in first with Bad Bunny blasting out Sensei full of dots. Is he going to go for the dance? Dances up. That's going to be Kingsbane in cap. Sensei taking quite a bit of damage. Trick out of Bad Bunny with an evasion. Sensei knows he can just play defense. He, can just, he knows he can play defense. Trying to go for ports. Trying to go for the mobility. It's going to be still a defense. It's hard for Bad Bunny. Big death mark is up on the Sensei. The Karma is bad on Bad Bunny. Does not want to cloak it though. That is a big defensive getting traded. Karma for a, de a, de a death mark. It's a huge trade into a leg sweep. Has no trick it. Does it take him? Cloak of Shadows last second is maybe. Can he get behind the rogue somehow? Kid the shot. Has a trick it for it. Drop it to win. Cheat dead. Does he AOE him down? He's so close. But no, it looks like the rogue does get to make his sweet little escape out of that situation. Sensei was able to force almost everything out of Bad Bunny. Everything but a blind specifically. But he's in a fantastic spot. Will not have a way out of the next stun. And Shadow Dance is coming up very, very soon. So Bad Bunny plays to his stuns, to his strengths. He might be able to make a play here. A dot from a rogue with a King's Bane dance, maybe with a Sepsis, is deadly. And unless Sensei has a way to easily deal with it, which there's not a lot of ways. Since King's Bane is not really a poison. It's a physical debuff that does poison damage. It's very difficult to stop it. Disarm it to Sensei, disarm it to Bad Bunny. Back it up out of the in cap. Does have Lexu very, very soon. Bad Bunny does not have a trick for this one. This might be the end of him. Oh, yeah. That massive kick. What was that? Wait, was that cheat? Oh, God. <laughs> Black of ownership? I thought the guy did good. Okay. There it is. The Axis Pam is going to be up next. Charging it versus Sensei. Try to see if he can get himself a proper ghost. Stone into Sensei. Does not have a trick for this one for a while. And Axis Pam going in for one blaze from into the next. Sensei backing up over there. <laughs> next to the flagged up rogue. I don't think that was super. <laughs> I don't think it was necessary. I think the boy did okay. Fear onto Sensei he got himself for Sephiria. Blasting into X Spam. There goes the Karma. X Spam knows he wants to stay aggressive, but he doesn't really want to. He doesn't really want to maximize the damage taken by that Karma. So he's going to go for a parry, give himself a bit of defense, stay aggressive, defensive stance for the Karma while it's sticking down on him, got himself a bit of that shielding. And he's going to try to see if he can stay aggressive. Stone onto Sensei. Perfect opportunity for you to get a big go. Massive execute to follow. Back it away from a Fist of Fury if at all possible. At least get overpower those uh, parries from Fist of Fury with the overpower ability. Got to be a ring of peas down. He's going to leap around. And Sensei looking to avoid him. Got plenty of mobility. Getting intercepted by the charge though. As x is back on you. Chopping you up. That poor last second for Sensei does give him a bit of a breathing room. Does not have a leg sweep. Does not have a lot of defenses to work with. X spam has no trinket though. So if you can potentially build up for a stun, maybe that could be good. Big stun on Sensei has a trinket for this one. And is looking to get away. He has another stun by X spam into last second disarm. Sensei looking to avoid him. He's got that Zoen. Adding a little bit extra pressure. Looking for that soothing mist healing. Axie looking for a blaze storm. Try to see if he can stay on top of Sensei. If he can get another charge, big execute spam. He just needs to break past the Fist of Fury. Using the Fist of Fury defensively. Big overpower on him. Oh my goodness. A colossal smash. That is so rough. As Axis Bam walks out of there. Well played. Both of them did so, 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 so good just now. With skills going to be up next. Fury versus arms. Axis Bam walking into this one without a trinket. Perry coming up very, very soon though. So at least could you leverage that. Got himself a full disarm by skills. Looking to get himself a bit of damage in here. Yet another charge. Axis spam denying a lot of damage from skills and actually got damage of his own. Battle stance at the ready. He's trying to see if he can spin around the man. Looking to get as much pressure into skills as possible. Skills with a massive defensive. Axis spam does not really feel the pressure of skills right now. He's doing perfectly fine health wise. He's keeping himself nice and afloat. And skills getting absolutely executed in the arena. I don't even know what happened. That was a lot just now. God, I was a lot happened there. What? <laughs> just the raw power of X spam just to chop through as soon as the defenses were down, man. That was a lot all at once. It's gonna be hate you setting up some feathers ahead of time as X he back it up out of there. Oh, you get the mount too? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Is back it up. I think he's trying to see if he can wait out the dots potentially, right? Possibly. With Haysher looking to hold the fort around the spoiler. Fear for stun that's gonna be X breaking out of a trick out of Haysher. And now that the Haysha is near Exe, this way if he can get that interrupt onto Haysha and combine some damage to follow, that'll be huge. Back it up out of there all against all of those void eruptions flying in every direction. 
Hager wants to see if he can maximize some damage. Stun onto XE. Big Void Chorin doing quite a bit of damage. He's going to spawn a bunch of tentacles. Interrupt onto Hager, but he's got plenty of movement with his feathers around him. Able to escape XE for just a second here. That's going to be a defensive stance for the warrior. He wants to stay on top of XE, or on top of Hager rather, but he's trying to see if he can deal with the damage taken. Battle stance does get feared out in the open. Staying in the battle stance, hoping to get some damage going into a quick uh, fade by Hager. Maybe looking at a disperse right now. That's going to be his Aegis proccing. You can't stop the warrior while it's Blaze so hey, she's on the defensive. x is willing to press this advantage right now. He's in a great spot. Fear onto Heishu just to disrupt him into a full Warbreaker. Heishu with that execute hit back to back with an overpower at the end to take him down. Well done by the Warrior. Got a couple of dots on him, but as long as he puts some pressure onto the Shadow, Shadow Priest and then you keep that pressure the entire time, there's very little they can do. You can't really go for a cast in front of the Warrior easily. And x fan tried to see if he can get himself a bit of that honorable duel with chicago love your mom by the way that thing is so good looking the red version ah it's so good it's like the og og mount but the, some of the og mounts still look really really good some of the like that horse particularly looks great another mount that's even better looking are some of the original night elf panthers and tigers those are really good, like the OG models. Axis Bam, full dots are in onto Chicago. Does end up sending him out of the way with that static totem. Axie is slowed down. Not much you can really do to approach Chicago. As Chicago gives him an opportunity to at least catch up a little bit of healing. Light and Lassa onto Warrior goes in for the trinket. So now he doesn't have an out. But Axis Bam got plenty of damage. If you just stay next to this Warrior for too long, that's a lot of pressure going to put on you. Chicago having to burn a trinket with a Guardian to, uh, uh, cooldown just to get himself a little bit extra recovery. And to join our Rachel just to go for that healing over time. Maybe look at a wall potentially here as it's going to be another war breaker out of Exe. Root to follow it cannot keep the warrior in place though with a blaze stone. Wall is out for Chicago. Burrow down as well because Exe is just still able to stay on you. Needs a quick intro. It might just have you try to go for a kick. Does not connect. Chicago knocking it back, but yet another charge keeps him on top of you. And Exe's spam is just absolutely decimating it right now. Oh my god, what is happening? Into a full stun by Lintenia, looking to get a bit of damage onto Axie. Quite a bit of an open, a big parry out of the warrior, trying to stay on top of Lintenia. Quick stun, this way you gotta get the most amount of damage onto the rogue. Every time you stun him, the most amount of damage. Lintenia, quick blind, he's playing for the short blind too, so for Axie Spam, is not gonna set those blinds long at all though. Next up, the rogue could be very deadly, Axie Spam looking to recover as much health as possible. Got him some defenses, that's gonna be a defensive stance, his evasion is out, cannot really attack the rogue right now, so he has to play super super safe. Doesn't have a fear for a while, doesn't have a trinket for a bit. Oh no, this stun could be deadly. This stun could be the end of you. Hold on, that's dance on everything. Oh, you need a heal right now. Need something, anything. Got himself a little bit of healing. I think it's over though. Stun? Yeah, it's over. It is rough. Sully is up next. Going for a big leap. Does not quite connect with Antenia. What was that charge? It looked like you charged, fell rushed towards Antenia, but got clipped on a pixel of the, of the big pillar here. And then just sent you flying. Is that what happened? Can't keep him slowed at all. Yeah, Warriors, man, you can't. Literally cannot keep him slowed whatsoever. Once they get that advantage and they keep... Oh my god, what just happened? I was just trying to expand Chicago. Yeah, it's like, yeah, Warriors are hard to lock down. And then he just ends up <laughs> taking out Sully in cold blood. With Makima, the subtle to row, gonna be up next. Oh, I forgot that's Yamag. Hey, <laughs> looks good. It still looks good. I still do wonder why you're running that Coral Sword in your offhand. Maybe it's like to match with a piratey looking top, potentially. I mean, it looks good. Either way, though. And the honorable person is the outlaw. Honestly, honestly, rogues in general are not really honorable. Well, actually, no. Lintenia did try to give an honor duel to Austin last duel. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, he is honorable, just not against warriors, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> Definitely sent some mixed messages, isn't it? <laughs> With Makima trying to see if he can stay from Lanthania. Picking up the eyes of Lanthania, mousing over towards another set of eyes. Might end up picking it up. Do you see make Makima? I think he sees Makima. I think he knows where Makima's at. Oh, the sap opener, though. Lanthania does have a trinket, so this could be an opportunity to maybe turn around the opener. Does go for the trinket. Blinded to Makima. Maybe trying to see if he can get a trinket out of Makima. It is going to go for the dance. Sheep shot Makima with a human racial of their own. Evasion up for Lanthania as well as Makima. I think Lanthania can still hit you, though. I think this ambush is still pierced past you. 
Vanish out of Lanthania to get himself a proper reset. Adrenaline rush and everything is rolling. Makima, unless you left a rupture on the guy, there's no way for him to find you. Dust pick up the eye. If he's looking to his right, he should see you. Shadow steps behind you. Did you try to stun on a DR? Is that what happened? Cloak shot us for Makima really, really early though. I think Lanthania tried to go for a sum, but I think Cloak might have let him dodge it. Lanthania also has a Cloak as well. Makima, I think, is saving calm points until a kidney shot. Shadow step kidney, maybe. Or until cooldowns are up. Lanthania is just pistol shotting you. He's just trying to get some pot shots at you. Holy, hold on a second. Okay, could be anyone's game right now. Blind early by Lanthania. It does have a short blind, shorter cooldown, shorter duration. But let's give him like a little bit of a disruptor ability. Does not play gouge with that. Means blade flurry into a stun. Mock him up. I don't know if you have a reversal here. You may need one shadow step. That's going to be cheap shot on Lanthania. Able to dodge the cheap shots. Mock him up looking for a reset after this one. And Lanthania actually parks himself very, very close to Mock him up. Did you put a dot on him? No, he's super, super low. Eyes are not going to be available, and Makima may need to next to me fight in Lanthania. You may want to put up a rupture on him, especially if he's going to catch himself a reset. I think putting a rupture on a guy may not be a bad idea. I mean, they walk past each other. They hurt each other. They hurt each other's stealth sounds. 100% they did. Question is, are they going to be able to AOE each other, though? Like, if they walk next to each other, Blade Flurry, Phantom Knives... I feel like whoever gets the opener is going to be the winner here. Makima still has a cheat death there. Okay, Lanthania does not play cheat death at all. He's actually plays faint by the looks of it. At least I assume plays faint. Elusiveness, rather. Is going to go for a grapple. Trying to get an opener onto Makima. Does not have a trinket. But he does have one coming up very, very soon. Lanthania taking quite a bit of damage with the Saps is blind by Lanthania. Have himself dance and everything available. No drone rush. Could go for a drone rush right now. Hold on. Big stun. Oh, what was that? What is that little shockwave you got there? What was that? That was so good. Austin is going to be up next, trying to see if he can get himself a go. Versus Lanthania, the rogue, got himself that Adron Rush at the ready. And it's really going to come down to can Lanthania find a way around Austin's mobility and cooldowns. You got to out control the mage. You have Vanish, so you could give an opener. Ambush in the opener. He knows that he doesn't want to go for cheap shots because Austin's just going to blink him. Polymer for after gives him an opener. Does have a trinket. Could go for a vanish. Surrounded in a ring of fire. With a trinket vanish. Shadow step it to you. Doesn't go for a stun. Knockback doesn't connect at all though. Could go for a blind. You have the range on a blind though. I don't know if you have a range on a blind. Austin taking quite a bit of damage. Has himself alter. Or no, he doesn't. That's his health. There's going to be a blade rush for the rogue. Austin with an ice block. Hold on. Lintani able to veer around him using mobility excellently right now. Just to get in and out. And every time he's on, he doesn't even go for the stun, just goes in for most amount of damage from between the eyes and ambushes Max and Mizen it. Blade Flurry to get Austin out in the open. Needs a breath or something. There's gonna be a cloak for the rogue really aggressively. Austin tried to reposition this one. Then they did try to stay on him as best possible. Got Austin super, super low. Balling off of the breath. Hold on a second. Austin looking to catch up a little bit of healing if at all possible. Into full arcade surge. Blindful and then does shrink it to knock him back. Oh my, the, the, the disgustingly good pistol shot at the end, dude. Just fired up. X is paired with four, but Lanthania brings it back for his team. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. What a go. Well done for both of you. Lordy, that's just, yeah, Outlaw Rogues against Mages is kind of wild.